whenever I talk about uh, the journey from PI to integration suite, one of the first things we obviously cover is how do you understand your current PI landscape? And one of the things I often say here, the best place to do that is in our assessment report. And today I'll give you some ideas about what you can use it for. Um, and the main part here is this is I would love to give you and say that if you just go through this report, you can say that this will take 300 days to migrate. Unfortunately, I don't really think we would be able to achieve that. And there's a number of reasons for it. Uh, we'll come to some of those uh, things as we go on, on. But what I wanted to, to give you is that with this, you have a good tool to understand how much this migration will take. So th this is whether you are a service integrate and want someone to, uh, want to estimate a project for a customer or you are an SAP customer and want to understand how much you can actually migrate. Then this is a good place and this is about you evaluating what you need to do. So once you have connected the FIGAF tool and obviously you can use the free uh, migration edition to to this, so just sign up for uh, go to figaf.com migration edition, sign up, and then once you have installed the tool, either on your local laptop or in BTP, you can create a report that looks like this. There is much more details than you can see here, but in basis, this has for both the sender and receiver, the adapter types, the modules, some of the configuration that exists, um, which gives you a good understanding of what the communication is. We will also show you the operation mappings, the mappings, message mappings, function libraries, imported archive, all of this that just makes the migration more or less difficult. It will also show you the message volume that has been processed here so you can see what is actually being processed or which interfaces is actually being used here. And then it will give you some list of some of the challenges that we already know of. One of the things that we hope or we'll be adding soon is the ability for you to create custom rules. So we will create some of our own, own rules, um, but we will improve it where or you can improve it with custom rules. And the rule could be check for message mappings that are using the uh, SAP TPM module and then tag all of those. And this would then enable you to actually see, hmm, these message mappings have some problems and we at least need to be aware of that whenever we are migrating these things. The report is different from SAPs. This is one that is designed for you to analyze um, the content and it does not come up with the medium and hard uh, components of this. And this, brings us back to a little about the, the the way you should be looking at this report. So in general, most of the things that you'd see in this report is not really a problem for the VGAF tool that can migrate these things. Um, we highlight some of them because they were previously a problem, but now it's not really a problem, but obviously can be a problem for the SAP migration tool. One of the first things you need to do is you need to do a, a pivot table on this report and figure out how many different adapter types that you would be using. There, whenever you go and figure out how to use a new adapter type in this, the first one is a little more difficult. All the subsequent iFlows that ha uses this process uh, of this adapter should not be counted. So if, if you have a file that needs to be converted to SFTP, the first time it is going to be a little challenging, get an SFTP server running and connecting this. But once you have done that, you just create a template in the FIGAF tool that will enable you to migrate these without a time penalty. So it does require you spending the time about how many adapters, how do we support these and do we have any patterns for this? Then you want to check, yeah, the adapter modules that are used, are, what are they used, how do, do they use. Um, with the FIGAF tool, you can set up specific mappings for these ones. If you want to uh, migrate some of the, the custom adapters modules, then they can also be, be handled with the tool where you have defined some Groovy that support these things. We also have, uh, you, yeah, you can use the this advanced search 
if you have your custom uh, parameters, you can start creating some tags that will be propagated out to the, the report. We'll cover more about this later, no, no worries. But the, what we do have now does give you a good basis for understanding and giving an estimate for migration. One of the things we often recommend is to perform a number of experiment map migrations. So you have an idea about what are the levels below it. And I think this is the part here that we have found. So we found out that if you had message mappings with local functions that used the imported archive, it was not possible to migrate. We also seen uh, specific usage of APIs, uh, PI specific APIs that could cause some problems. Um, so the first two, yeah, the first one we probably will find some way to, to solve. The second is a little more challenges. We don't cover uh, IQs that are part of uh, NetWeaver BPM, so you need to, to figure out how do we correlate these scenarios. Um, BRMs, uh, the trading partner setup is also not covered in this uh, assessment. You also have some accelerators that can simplify some of the setup, like how do you propose them using the FTP or uh, IDOC adapter, proxy adapters, these things. And then, yeah, you also have a number of scenarios that should not be migrated and need to be migrated manually. And there could be a number of different reasons for this. Um, Either the tool, <laughs> it's technical problem, or there's a business reason. And you obviously need to be able to highlight and say, okay, there's these three, 10 uh, percent of interfaces. We want to manually migrate. And this could be some of the NetWeaver BPMs that needed to be bundled into an iFlow. Then we come to the fact that you need to somehow to go in and say this is going to cost 300,000, 500 uh, million, uh, hopefully not, um, or in some other currency. Um, but it all obviously depends on the skill level of the people that are working on this. Is this some developer that experienced, know how to use the tool, can accelerate the migration efforts? Um, what's the goal of this? Is it just a one-to-one -one migration or do you also want to do some transformation to other uh, uh, areas, your accelerators as we talked about? And then I guess also the, the risk level, um, how would you be dealing with all the things that is going to be unexpected? So there is going to be things that you would not really expect. Um, as we have seen before, that yeah would require you to refactor uh, some of these interfaces and then obviously there's the testing uh, requirement we do recommend that you're using the fgaf tool to manage this this will also lower the 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 effort of testing because then the developers can test themselves and then you can just do a more to more business connectivity test at the end and see it if it works there um all that that is some of the factors that you need to take into consideration when working with these things i really hope that you enjoyed this uh, this presentation i do encourage you to go and sign up for the gaf migration edition this will give you a good understanding of what's going on with the the tool how it works and what it's actually possible to enable you to do in terms of your PI to CPI migrations. So please uh, like this video, please share this video with the people you think would be interesting in understanding their landscape a little better. Thank you.